In this video, we're gonna draw this little cute village together. Hi, my name is Esther Nariyoshi. I am an illustrator, designer, and a top teacher on Skillshare. You're watching my quick snack series here, where I explain how to use Adobe Illustrator in short episodes for designers and illustrators of all skill levels. This is basically a quick review on what we have learned in drawing simple shapes in season one, but we're gonna add a bit of advanced tips here and there. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and draw triangles for the trees first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my polygon tool and then just start drawing. This happens to be triangle from the get go, but if you have different sides, for example, if you have hexagon, you can just click on your up and down arrow to change it to triangle. I'm also gonna hold my shift key to make sure my triangle is sitting upright and then V for selection tool and I also want to hold the option key because I want to duplicate this shape. So I'm just dragging down. I want to hold option and shift. So my movement is vertical. So I'm going to press command D to repeat this previous action. Command D repeats whatever previous action that you have done. So in this case, it was duplication. So I'm going to do it again, press command D. So that's my little trees. I'm just gonna drag and select them all and resize them. So I'm using E for the free transform tool or this icon right here. And then just drag one of the corners while holding shift. So my proportion doesn't get messed up. There you go. And then I wanna sample the colors by pressing I on my keyboard to jump to the eyedropper tool and then just sample this color right here. And of course I need a tree trunk. So M on my keyboard for the rectangle tool. I'm gonna mess up the alignment intentionally by drawing it over here. And you can either manually move it back to the center I mean, this is doable because I have my smart guides turned on. This can tell me when things are lined up, but you can also save your brain power by using the alignment tool. So I'm gonna select them all and click on my alignment tool right here. Or you can go to window and click on the align. In this case, I want all my selection to align together but if you have a key object you want everybody else to align to, you can just click one more time. For example, I want the first section to be the reference and I can go ahead and click on the align objects, horizontal align center. This will align. So that's my trees. That's one tree actually. So I'm gonna hold option key to duplicate it. And next, I'm going to move on to my roofs. I'm going to get started by drawing a rectangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and freehand. That's just color the same. So you know what I'm talking about. If we look at over here, we know this roof has an angle. So I'm just going to click on my shape, right click, transform and shear. I know it's 30 degree because of the perfect triangle that I've created. So I'm gonna press 30 and then it's going to the wrong direction. Whenever you find things are going to the wrong direction, you just put a minus in front and it will go back. There you go. And then I wanna start a rectangle that is the same height. Let's say that if you drew a rectangle at a different height, you can just click on the other piece and then go to transform and check out the height. So in this case, I have 179. So I'm gonna copy it and then change this one height and change this height to the same. Just paste it here. You wanna make sure 
this link is highlighted so that the proportion is not messed up. There you go. Now you know these two have the same height. And then I'm gonna sample the color. I have my smart guides turned on. So when these two things touch, it will tell me. So now I have my roof set up and then I'll just go ahead and drag another rectangle. By the way, if you don't have your smart guides, it's under view and two third way down, it says smart guides. It is really helpful. So I'm gonna find this corner and just start dragging until I see my smart guides telling me this one lines up. So I'm gonna stop right here and sample a different color. So that's basically it. And then I wanna create another wall right next door by pressing Command C to copy and Command F to paste in front. This will give me the exact copy on the exact location. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the side on the right and then drag it over and maybe sample a different color. So that's my first house. Similarly, I'm going to create two windows. By the way, if you want this window to be exactly in the middle, you can select them both and click on the bigger rectangle for reference and align. This will give you the perfect alignment. And then hold option while you drag. And I will also drag it one more time but this time I want to align it to the bottom. And I want to make this guy a little taller because this will be a door. Sample this color here. As you can see, I have my rounded corner as a stylistic choice for my door. In this case, I'm just going to use my direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard. And hold shift to select multiple. So I have the two anchor points of the door selected and there's, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, there is little awkward face that's like two eyes and a mouth. Anyways, I'm just gonna drag these little dot and then now I have um, arc shaped door. So that's basically it. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Go check out my Skillshare classes by clicking the link below to get a free trial. I will see you next time.